In this demonstration, we are going to be showing how we are going to be asking the IEM server, this machine here, to patch a particular vulnerability, this one, MS11100, and we first are going to be showing how we have an interface between Curator and IEM, it's called the IEM client, and we're actually going to configure it from scratch here. And from it, we can actually see in great detail what is patchable, and we're going to see that this vulnerability can be patched by uh, Endpoint Manager. We're actually going to ask Endpoint Manager to patch it, and we're going to be seeing how first is going to be shown as pending restart because that patch uh, requires a restart and we also going to be showing how we after we reboot this uh, IEM client how we can see that the patch is actually fixed for completeness we actually going to show that we can also get logs from IBM Endpoint Manager, but those logs have nothing to do with the patching process. They, they tell us things about who logged in into that box and other uh, information, but it's not the information uh, relevant to the patches. So we're here in the Curator console, and we are going to be actually looking for the particular vulnerability that we uh, want to find. And the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to say, well, I want the vulnerabilities that were identified by Endpoint Manager, which carried that, that intelligence, but also we want to uh, only single out the one the one computer that we're going to be patching into, which is IBM Client 1. Let's see if we get uh, information from it. And yeah, there pl there's plenty of patches. I mean, this IBM Client 1 needs a lot of uh, love, uh, but we can single out MS11100, which is the vulnerability that we want to actually uh, fix. And, you know, this is what we actually uh, want to uh, ask Big Fix to uh, patch. But before we actually do that, we need to uh, go into uh, Curator and we want to um, actually the, uh, configure the client. So in here, in this particular directory, there is this uh, IEM setup web reports.pl. We're going to invoke that script. and it asks us for the host address and the host address of the IEM server as we saw in the graphic before is 172.16.60.100 me double check that that is the case yep that's the one then it asks us for a username to it is uh, the username is rpt admin and the password is password we are not going to use SSL and now it is uh, configured actually if we go to the bin directory here we see a process called run result reader that actually it's uh, scheduled to run every 20 minutes. Let me actually show you how that goes. So Chrome tab minus L. And we see here at the very end uh, that that is actually every 20 minutes it's going to run that particular process. But we're going to actually run that manually because we're not going to wait 20 minutes while we record this. So if we actually run that
when we run it the first time, notice that it's you know gathering all these fixed uh, data again from uh, from the IEM server, and so we have loaded uh, that very many fixed. Now, if we run this again, we're going to be every time that we actually run it, hasn't quite finished yet. Uh, we're going to be able to see what the actions are, and we're going to be running this, uh, as I said before, manually. So here we see that uh, the actual process finished running well, with zero action, uh, zero result. Again, if, if we run it again, it's not going to download all that uh, information. It's just going to run much quicker and say that there's no action now uh, that uh, has been reported. Here in the IEM server console, we can actually go there and basically select the actual uh, machine that we uh, want to uh, to uh, patch. Let me scroll down here by uh, computer, and in here I should find IEM client one, which is the one computers one and the, here it is right so here are all the fixlet that are applicable as we saw before in, in Curator there are many things this machine leads a lot of love but we're going to scroll down and, and go to MS 11100 that's the one we're going to actually be up, uh, up applying and it, we, we, we see here the details this is the syntax of the fixlet where it's going to check all the uh, relevance of all these conditions and if all these are met then here are the actions that are going to be uh, that deployed. There. It's going to download the the patch, which in this case has it cache on the server, and it's going to actually apply it. So we're going to be asking uh, Big Fix to do is actually initiate the process of applying that patch on that uh, particular uh, computer, evaluating the patch applicability, running the patch application process is finished, uh, it's pending a restart. So how do we actually see that from from Curator? So instead of waiting for that process to run every 20 minutes, we're actually going to run it manually now. And uh, we see that now we get one action and one result. So let's go back to Curator and now from Curator we're going to just do directly a new search and now what we're going to be looking at is uh, patch status because we should find it on then pending restart so if we click here and you know we can actually put another condition which is is a host name what is the host name uh, if host name is IEM client one, we add that filter and we perform a search and see if we can see that. And sure enough, it's pending restart as we expected it uh, to be. Now, if we go back to the client, which is in here and we restart the client and the client is actually going to restart I'm, I'm going to pause the, the video to wait until the actual machine uh, restart to see the that IEM server sees that the process uh, is completed and the patch is fixed so here the, 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 the machine uh, rebooted and we are going to be actually seeing that uh, pretty soon IEM server will detect that the machine rebooted and the process is completed. So we see that the, the vulnerability has been fixed. Now let's see, let's actually again run that process instead of waiting 20 minutes for it to run, let's run it manually to get the, and see if there is new action reported and yes we see another action and one result let's go now actually if we were to uh, rerun this actual uh, search uh, uh, 
we don't find any 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 result because it's not pending restart it should be now pending uh, uh, it should be actually completely fixed so let's go here modify that search and eliminate the status and add a status which is patch status equal fixed if we add that and we perform the search we actually see it fixed that's the way we we, we wanted to, that's what we wanted to prove from the beginning as I said on the beginning of the video we can also show that you can actually get uh, log information from the IEM server uh, we're going to be doing a new search here for the source uh, log let's scroll down here and the parameter we're going to be searching for is uh, log source indexed and then on here we're going to select endpoint manager uh, here it is we add the filter and we search for it and let's give it uh, let's say because I log in a while ago so let's log in let's look for 30 minutes before and sure enough we see you know the information that it produces but it's this is not what curator uses to determine whether a fix has been actually uh, put or not in fact if we go back uh, say six hours ago maybe we get additional data you see this is me logging into the actual uh, uh, IEM server and trying uh, all these before I did the recording so uh, 